Hi everybody, my name is Karen Boniker and I'm Elite Painter Master and what I'd like to show you today is a new brush pack called Rain. This is a really fun brush pack to work with and I'd like to go over some of the brushes that are within this brush pack that I think you'll enjoy working with. First of all, I'm going to, I've got this nice little kind of winter painting open and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a layer directly above that and one of the reasons I do that is because I like to be able to work with these brushes on a separate layer so I can not only change the opacity of the layer but I can also work with a composite method of that particular layer to change the effect or the look of those brushes. It's important to keep in mind that brushes within Painter or Painter Essentials, we can work with what we call the grain setting and work with different paper textures. So depending upon the paper texture that you choose, you may get a different look to your brush as well. So don't uh, limit yourself to just working on a layer and a composite method. Remember that you can always work with the paper selector and choose different papers to give you a different effect as well. I'm going to start off with this brush called Deluge. And again, we're on a layer here and I'm going to use a light color because I want you to be able to see the brush when I uh, stroke on the canvas with it. So this brush gives us that effect of a heavy, heavy rain coming down. And again, if I want that effect to be a little softer, what I can do is bring the opacity down on that layer so I'm getting that beautiful texture of the rain coming down, but a little bit softer in terms of the brush, uh, the brush saturation. The next brush is called Downpour. And this one, again, is a real fun brush to work with. It gives the effect of rain coming in at kind of a slanted direction but very, very heavy. Again, the effect of that brush can be altered by bringing the opacity down or playing with the different composite methods. The next brush is called Drenching. And this one, we're going to start off at the top. And I like this one because it's kind of a wavy approach. It gives um, kind of that look of of the rain coming down but getting kind of blown out at the bottoms. Again, the opacity slider to lighten the effect or keeping it at full opacity for the total effect of the brush. The next brush is called Driving. And this one, I, I like working with it just sporadically and just kind of adding it where I think I might want the look of rain coming down. This would be a good one if you're, if you have a photograph or a painting that has clouds in it and you're wanting to show rain coming down from those clouds. So this would be a nice effect uh, for that brush. The next brush is called Drizzle. And this brush, again, we're working on a layer here and you'll notice that when I apply it, you're just creating a very, very soft, misty effect of rain coming down. Again, you can apply, apply it um, to create texture in your existing paintings or photographs, or use it to create kind of a misty effect of rain coming down. The next brush we're going to look at is called Mist. And this particular brush if we look at the general brush controls, we can see that this brush is a dynamic speckle uh, brush with a method of plug-in and a left twirl brush. So that means when I'm working on a layer that has existing pixels on it and I apply it, you can see that it gives you kind of a, a twirling effect of those particular pixels that are on that layer. Now, one way to work with this would be to go to, for example, let's say the uh, let's say the driving rain brush, and we add some driving rain effect on this layer, and then we go to the mist brush, and on that layer we can distort and texturize those brush those brush strokes. 
again, bringing the opacity down to soften the effect. The next brush is called Mizzle. And this one, again, you'll work on a separate layer or anything with pixels on it. And you can just simply apply kind of a light rain effect where you'd like, maybe over above the umbrella and maybe coming down in the distance here. And again, using that layer opacity to soften the effect. The this brush is called Pouring, and it is a heavier brush that you would use to create the effect of very heavy rain coming down. It also would be a good brush. You can work with this brush either in a back and forth motion like I'm doing here, or long streaks across the canvas. The next brush is called Sheets. And this one is kind of a fun one, and I'm gonna show you a technique of working with this brush to give the look of rain showers coming down and then splattering up on the pavement. So what I'm gonna do is actually start this brush stroke outside of the canvas and just do a quick brush directly down and then at the point where I'm almost at the bottom, I'm going to flip my wrist up to create this effect of rain just dancing and hitting off the sidewalk. Let's do one over here in this darker area here. And you can see how that gives the effect of rain kind of bouncing off the sidewalk. Again, composite me methods can be applied here as well as opacity to bring the effect down. The next brush is called Showers, and this one you'll want to work directly across to create the effect of showers coming down. Again, you can apply this just about anywhere you'd like. And again, opacity will bring down the effect. The next brush is called Soaking. And this one I'm going to start at the top and kind of uh, bring, you can see that it's quite a heavy saturated brush, but it really does give you that effect of very, very heavy rain. But the key to working with this particular brush is working with the opacity slider at the end of applying the brushwork. Bringing the opacity now gives you this nice, rainy look or this rainy effect going over the the original piece. I really love this effect, the way it gives you that look of very lots of rain and uh, humidity in the air. And uh, this one is called Soaking. The next brush is called Sprinkle. And it is just a nice little soft brush that you can apply here and there. And again, opacity down. Also beautiful with paper texture applied. So you can certainly apply paper texture to that brush to give it even, uh, you know, a different effect, a different look. This one is called Squall. This is one of my favorite brushes in this brush pack. I love the way you can just get very creative with it. And you can see that it's like a rainstorm coming through. The key here again would be to soften the effect a little bit with opacity or working with composite methods. The next brush is called Tempest and this one is really kind of a, a, a fun brush, uh, more of a an effects type of brush to give you that look of, of blowing rain and that is called Tempest. And the last brush in this group is called Windy Rain, and this one is a really pretty brush, 
and again you can use it for creating that look of rain coming down. So I hope you'll enjoy this new brush pack for painter called Rain.